Slowing global trade and uh, economic uncertainties bring along many challenges for free trade zones across the globe. Nonetheless, they also leave a door open for new opportunities, at least for those able to spot and seize them. I am Jacopo Dettoni, Deputy Editor of uh, FDI Magazine, and I'm here today to discuss, to discuss this all with uh, Gautam Sashital, the CEO of uh, the Dubai Multi-Commodity Center, one of the fastest growing uh, free trade zones in the world. CEO Sashital, welcome to FDI Magazine. Thank you very much, Jacopo. Such a pleasure to be here. FDI Magazine has recently produced uh, its uh, 2015 Global Free Trade Zones Awards, where uh, the Dubai Multi Commodity Centers were, was named as the best uh, free zone out of the 76 uh, surveyed. Um, what does this uh, award mean for you? It means quite a lot, actually. It means that we have actually, we are doing the right things, and we are doing things right. Uh, so it means a lot to us actually to get that award. Uh, the challenge, of course, is where do we go from here? So part of the reason why we've had this award, I would imagine, is because of our exceptional customer service, customer experience, the digitization that we've achieved with all of our processes, the growth that we've experienced, the breadth of the businesses that are coming to our free zone, all of these things. Uh, when you get such an award, though, then you say, what next? How do I maintain that place? How do I grow my presence? What else do I need to do uh, to keep getting more of these awards? So what's next for the Dubai Multi Commodity Center? Well, very exciting, I would say. We are experiencing the same growth that we've had in the past. We're still, uh, we're still registering 150 new companies every month. Today, we're over 11,700 companies, uh, which perform over 600 business activities. So you've got everything right up from the startups uh, through uh, a, a, an organization called Astrolabs, uh, which is a tech hub, a Google uh, tech partner tech hub in our free zone, through to a very large component of SMEs and a huge slug of multinationals as well. So we have the entire range of businesses. And as far as I understand, uh, you are also uh, carrying out very ambitious expansion plans in terms of uh, space for your clients. Uh, one new commercial tower called uh, One JLT mm -hmm. came online uh, just a few months ago. And uh, you are also thinking of a new other, uh, of another uh, pretty massive 700 meter high skyscraper um, in right in the city center of, uh, of Dubai. So w what is your target in terms of uh, number of uh, member companies and the business development for the years to come? Well, it's interesting. We have to think ahead. We have to think five and 10 years from now. With this growth that we continue to experience, we need to create more capacity. But capacity of a type that attracts large corporates as well as small corporates. Are you targeting any specific geography when it comes to finding new clients? Absolutely, we, we, and that's our focus in the future is going to be on quality, industries, and geography. These are three sort of parts of our free zone strategy that we're working on at the moment. So which parts of the world are you trying to um, increase uh, ties with uh, to attract new clients? India is an obvious uh, partner, as is China as is parts of Europe as well. So we are looking at that. I won't be specific on what particular geographies we're looking at, but I'd just say that India and China are typically examples where we see a lot of growth coming from in the free zone. 